And so the good news is that the brain can change, that we can remold it, reinform it. And what drives neuroplasticity is very straightforward and really useful for clients. And the neuroscience and the meditative traditions absolutely agree on it. And this is what effectively drives uh, neuroplasticity is focused attention and repetition. Very simple. Focused attention, repetition. It's sometimes referred to as experience-dependent neuroplasticity. So that, those drivers of neuro neuroplasticity might be on the automatic pilot mode. So for example, let's think of the 14-year-old boy who's playing hours and hours of some violent-oriented video game, like uh, Grand Theft Auto or Warcraft or whatever it is. What is that? That is highly focused attention and massive repetition. Now that changes the brain. It changes the reward system. And one of the ways, that, the reason we see more and more in, in uh, technologically advanced cultures a problem with this is because the reward changes in a way that makes that activity more and more compulsive. Because every time that 14-year-old boy gets a little virtual kill, he gets a nice little dopamine hit. He gets a nice little high. And the brain starts to associate that dopamine hit, that little high, with that particular activity. And just like other kinds of addictions, actually the reward center continues to change, so it takes more and more to feel satisfied, just like in other uh, kinds of compulsions. So that neuroplasticity can be driven by experience on the automatic pilot mode, but when we come to mindfulness, obviously we're trying to change the brain intentionally in ways that serve health and well-being.